Good morning, Ruby. Today, a very big day if you are 65 and up. Mecklenburg County now starting to take appointments today to get that COVID vaccine. It really is a big day. Wake up Charlotte's Billie Jean Shaw joining us live now from Uptown. So Billie Jean, we have seen it before. We know that these appointments, they fill up and they fill up fast. Good morning, Carolyn. That's something that the county is recognizing. They say they know it's been difficult in the past for people to schedule an appointment, but this time they have folks on standby to be able to take your call and help you. But I do want to put it out there plainly that the appointments are going to be for 18 days out of February. So when those openings become available at 830, you may want to book fast. People aged 65 and older are the latest group in Mecklenburg County to become eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine. Starting at 8.30 this morning, those who fall in that group can begin scheduling appointments for February 1st through February 20th to receive the vaccine. To book an appointment, you can go through the county's website or you can call the health department at the number on the bottom of your screen. Keep in mind, about 80,000 people are eligible for this round of vaccines. That's according to data from the county's health director, Gibby Harris. Harris says officials are prepared to make the scheduling process as smooth as possible. We know that these 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 appointments are going to go quickly, but we will try to, we're working to accommodate people as quickly as we can as those calls come in. As vaccine supplies remain limited, there are questions surrounding how the second dose will be administered. Well, Harris says those who receive the first dose of the vaccine will have access to the second. The vaccine is not effective without both doses. We will not be using the second doses inappropriately. We will make sure that those who have gotten first doses will have the second dose available when it's their time. Harris also says that the county just received their first shipment of the Moderna vaccine. You may know the difference between Pfizer and Moderna. It's easier to store Moderna because it doesn't have to be kept as uh, low temperatures like the Pfizer vaccine. So that is something that has been a plus for the county. And they also say they do not plan on wasting any vaccines. They plan on using all of the doses. Ben, Carolyn, back to you. All right, Billie Jean, thanks.